All right, so if you're trying to install Windows um, 10 or 11 and your SSD, um, most likely an M.2 PCIe NVMe SSD, if that isn't showing up, I'm going to show you how you can fix that problem. Um, hopefully, assuming you can get the driver, this will work. All right, so as you noticed in here, it shows this Intel RST um, or a VMD driver. So a lot of times this VMD thing um, causes problems where if the driver isn't detected properly, then you're not going to be able to install Windows to the SSD. So we're going to actually restart this computer and I will actually show you what it looks like. So we're going to go with this F9 to boot. Okay, the computer's going to start up. This is an HP laptop. On HP laptops, you press F9 to boot it. Okay, once you boot using F9, um, then we are going to go to this uh, SanDisk Cruiser Fit, all right, because that's where I saved Windows, the Windows installer to. All right, also another thing, you want to use a USB uh, 2.0 um, USB drive. If you use a USB 3 uh, drive, it might not be able to boot from, from that, okay? So we're going to wait for this to boot up. And yeah, and then I'll show you what's going on. So the process, the booting takes a while. Again, probably because it's Windows, or not Windows, because it's USB 2. All right, so we're going to give this some time. You can see Windows 11 has this spinning circle thing. All right, and then we got this. So I'm going to press Tab um, and then go to Next and press Enter because right now the mouse and the touchscreen doesn't work. Then it's on install now. We'll press enter again. You can see setup is starting. Okay, so we'll give this some time as well. All right, this does take a while. So we'll give it a, a little bit. Okay, there we go. Then we got this. I press the space bar to accept and then enter for next. Then I go press the down arrow key or down arrow key, custom, press enter. Here you can see there's no drivers, uh, no hard drive at all. So what we're going to do, we're going to press tab twice, go to load driver, press enter, and then I'm going to push the arrow key to go to browse. If for some reason, um, let me see, if you press like OK and it showed nothing here, then you can press the tab key to get to browse again. Press enter. We're going to go to the USB, which is the one with the Windows installer. Press the right arrow key, go down. I created this um, earlier, so I'll show you how to do this. Um, but let me show you how this works. We'll go to the right arrow key and then you see this VMD thing. So we're going to press enter on there. It could also be the Intel RST RAID driver or something, but I found the VMD driver is the one that works. So we'll press enter on that. You can see there's two drivers here. Um, I just selected the first one. If it doesn't work, then we'll try the second one, but we'll do the first one. I press enter. Okay, it's loading the driver. Okay, loading. There you go. Now you can see the SSD. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all these partitions because it's not working right. So I press tab and then I press the letter D to go to delete. Then I'll press the left arrow and press OK. You'll see it turn that to unallocated space. We'll press the down arrow, do the same thing. Tab, the letter D, left arrow, enter. And now we delete the second one. We'll go down again and then tab, D, left arrow, enter. Same thing, down, tab, D, left arrow, enter. And now we have a completely blank SSD. We're going to press enter to create the partitions on there. And here you can see it's installing now. So that's how you do that. Let me actually show you how you get the driver for the USB now. Um, so the Windows installation USB, if you don't know how to do that, you can get that from Microsoft. So let me actually show you real quick. Let me move to my other computer. Okay, you can use any search uh, thing you want. I just use whatever's there. Right now it's on Bing. You can use Google, of course, doesn't matter. And I search Windows 11 USB installer. Then you see this, download Windows 11 Microsoft.com. So it's from Microsoft directly. Make sure that it shows the URL here, HTTPS www.microsoft.com, EN software download. You can also manually type that in, but we're gonna click that. Once you do that, they give you these two options, all right? So we're not going to install Windows 11 on this computer, so we're creating a USB installer here. So we would download this one, all right? And once you do that, let me actually show you how this works. Let me open that, and I'll be back.
Okay, so you would um, run that program that you just downloaded, and here you can see it says getting a few things ready. Pretty simple, straightforward. Um, then you would click accept, obviously. All right, and then from here, it'll search for a USB. Actually, maybe I should plug one in just to show you what it looks like. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so here it will ask you to select the language and the Windows edition. All they have is 11, and then they have English. So even if you get rid of this, all you have is Windows 11, and, well, I mean, you can change the language if you want, but I'm not going to. Anyways, then you click Next. Oops, back. Then you click next and then you say if you want to create a USB flash drive or a ISO, which is a CD image. So if you want to burn it to a DVD, you can do the ISO, but I did the USB. All right, then you click next. It'll see the removable USB. Make sure you're selecting the right one because I think it will actually wipe out. It actually tells you it will delete it. And then you just click next. It'll run automatically and it will install or um, create the bootable USB for you. All right, now for the driver on how to get it to detect the hard drive. Let me show you how this works and let me go to the website and I'll be back. All right, so this greatly depends on your brand of computer. You might not have an HP, but this one I'm doing is an HP. So I went to HP's website, all right, hp.com. Then we're gonna go to support, software and drivers. Of course, it'll differ depending on your computer. We're gonna go to laptop. And then you want to enter in the model number here. So on the bottom of this uh, HP laptop, let me see if I can show you here. On the bottom of this laptop, you see 15T dash, is that EB100 or something? 15T, why isn't it focusing? Come on. Let me zoom in here. 15T dash EB100, I think. All right, so. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go on here, we're gonna type 15T-EB100. All right, and here you go, we have the laptop model number, we'll click that, it'll go here. We're gonna tell it that it's Windows 11, select Windows 11, okay, and then we'll click Submit. It'll search for the drivers. I don't want it to detect, I'm gonna click the plus sign, and yeah, you do need two computers to do this. All right, then we're gonna go down to um, Drive, driver storage we'll click that and here you can see Intel rapid storage technology driver okay so basically what we're gonna do is download that and I'm gonna say I'm gonna download and install it manually I don't want to use their uh, HP's thing okay so this will download it's gonna ask me where I'm gonna save it to the USB that I have the Windows installer on and we'll click Save alright once we've done that I'm gonna actually open the folder so Let's show in folder here. Where is it? Why isn't it doing it? Show in folder. There we go. Okay, so we have this here. You're gonna need another software to do this. I use 7-Zip, um, but basically you right click this and because I have 7-Zip, I can go to 7-Zip here and then I can extract to this folder name and that will just make that folder name in this folder for you. And that's how you get the Intel um, driver on your computer. Okay, so this will go on here. Then you can see if we open that folder, it has all these folders that I was talking about earlier and the VMD one. All right, anyways, if you're wondering how to get 7-Zip, I mean, you can go to 7-Zip.com, but the way I do that is I go to nightnight.com. All right, nightnight.com, here we go. And then if you go to, you need to find it, um, they move around, here you go, compression. So I just click this checkbox, get your night night, install it, and then you can use that to extract the folder. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. Uh, I've helped you save a bunch of money. Please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.